Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn in the Folktale series. I know quite a, quite a few of you have been waiting for us to make a return into this series and my deepest apologies, it's taken so long for us to do so. And uh, well, I, I guess you deserve, uh, deserve to know why it's taken us so long. So, well, the answer is pretty, pretty simple. Uh, I think I made a bit of a mistake or uh, just the recording was not as good as I wanted it to be and it was just a nightmare to put all those clips together so uh, I kept pushing it back and and yeah next thing you know it we're full into into the uh, Iron Teeth series and then we started Frostpunk as well but I did promise that in uh, this month we'll have a couple of Folktale episodes out so here we go. Right, so with that out of the way, let's bring back the UI real quick. And uh, as per usual for this series, we uh, shall start with uh, naming a couple of beavers. So the first one that we have over here and the highest rated comment in the... Uh, I think that was episode 20 actually, was from uh, Seal Piercing. And Seal uh, has always been providing us with some very valuable tips and this one is no exception. I think it was a comment about making using dynamites to make little pockets in the middle of the farm so then we could uh, flood them and all that water would collect into, into those uh, few small pockets of, of tiles and keep the, keep the land fertile or the farms fertile around it. So thank you very much Seal and uh, this one is for you. Now let's grab another younger beaver. We've got one over here and uh, this is all our uh, special extra beavers that we would like to name and the first one is gonna go to... Oh, click, click the wrong button there. Here we go, let's try again. First one's gonna go to the flame... Let me just move the mouse out of the way. The flame thrower. And um, Flame's been with us for a very long time. He's, he's been in the comments, he's very active on the... Was very active on the Discord before as well. And I've been in touch with him personally as well. He's offered to make some absolutely fantastic channel art for us. And um, I know you're very busy Flame in, in real life right now. So no pressure at all. Even if you don't get around to make it, I still appreciate the, the thought and uh, the time you have bent with us so far so flame this one's for you right the next beaver in our colony uh, let's try the same thing we've got another another beaver here and this one is gonna go to uh, julia now julia has been around for quite some time and and she was also very supportive and very nice to us in the in the comments so thank you very much julia and i, I hope you're still around to uh, see that um we're finally added you to the colony as well right moving on we've got also uh let's see daniel khan and daniel is one of those beavers uh, that has now joined our colony that's been around for since we started pretty much and he's always wanted to join the colony i'm really sorry daniel it's taken uh, taken us this long but i'm glad you're finally in in the colony now so thank you very much for your support and now last but not least we also had an amazing suggestion from mr pudding and he said look we understand it takes quite a bit of time to name all those beavers and uh, we might not get around to everyone which is which is very very sad but uh, he had this great idea that we should name one beaver after all the amazing audience we've had so thank you mr pudding and this is for for everyone that has not been named yet and we're gonna call it the amazing audience all right and here we go we've got the beavers now named oh it's a bit of a bit of a lag in here i guess our colony is just so big that it's it's affecting the performance a little bit but um right it's been quite a while since we did it last episode so what i did is i went through fortunately i had some notes on it um uh, some preparation notes for each episode so uh, i was able to see who we uh, wanted to name previously but just didn't get around to it the next thing is uh, is a bit of a new thing for us but uh, salted fish has submitted two entries into our fan art section on on the discord and i just really wanted to show off these amazing drawings that he's uh, he's been very kind to um, share with us and the first one is a little pixel baby dragon 
which I'm sure you all can agree, it looks just amazing. And the other one, we, we've got another baby dragon over here carrying a log. So he could be a potentially a lumberjack, maybe even a hauler bringing some logs around. Or, you know what, even a builder. Maybe going into one of those construction sites. So, salt the fish, I hope you're watching this. Those entries are both absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for taking some time to, uh, to enter those submissions. I absolutely love it. Wow, quite a few updates, but we've got a couple more, so... I hope you're not too tired, but uh, we had a bit of a vote for for district names as well. So let's start with the uh, district. Uh, what are you? Two. We had, let me just check. I've got to pull up my notes real quick. We had 48% of 1,200 people that chose or decided that this area should be called Fertile Flats. So here we go, District 2 is now, is now named. We've got a Fertile Flats over here. Uh, Amsterdam is up here, Fertile Flats down there. And the main starting district, uh, if I quickly refer to my notes again, we had 1.4 thousand voters and 49% of you said that the name should be Beaverly hills genius idea love it and here we go we've got beaverly hills fertile flats and Amsterdam now so thank you very much everyone for voting moving on so as i mentioned before a bit of a mess up with the with the previous recordings uh yeah terrible very ashamed of this so what i thought is um if i manage to pull out some uh, some footage that's um, salvageable i'll play it in the background but in case i don't i'll just quickly highlight what i've uh, what i've done right so the first one you can see over here is the um can't see the water why is that so ah uh, here we go so we managed constructing this um, reservoir and uh, it's gonna hold quite a bit of water here and i was also thinking to move the water pumps down here, so instead of draining the lake where all our beavers are living, we don't want to drain that. So the water pumps can now be relocated down here. We finished constructing the levee wall at the back so the water doesn't drain out, but uh, put a couple of bridges here as well, and um, I, I guess it, you could call it a bit of a dam here to block the and keep the water inside. Uh, all we had to do was the good old district and moving beavers around trick. But now that is complete, the next phase for that is to put down some more dynamites because right now it's, uh, well, we've got a bit of a flood here. What I'd prefer to see is a nice river running down the hill around those trees here and joining with the, or merging with the main, main river. Right, so that is the one of the updates. Let's have a look what else do we have. Uh, water, if I mem remember correctly. Uh, oh man, it's been such a long time since we were here. Uh, water has been an issue in both the Fertile Flats district and also at the Beaverly Hill. So what we did, or what I did, was uh, put down some platforms here with some additional water pumps. Fertile Flats is actually doing very good. We did the same in uh, in Beaverly Hills as well. Uh, just a couple more water pumps here. It was, uh, oh, how I wish that the uh, Folktales had the same water pumps as the Iron Teeth have. It would be so much easier and nicer. But we don't have it, so um, yeah, similar to Amsterdam. I don't really want to train this river here, so these water pumps will at some point, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to move them out. And I was thinking of decorating this area with some trees instead. Cool. Now, I also took note of a few a few comments uh, from, from, from the viewers. And there was a few, few good ones. I think in the previous episode, we struggled a little bit with the, with the distribution post here, moving potatoes around, which now actually, if you look here, we've got 6,000 in, ham in Amsterdam. And, uh, oh yeah, it's not better. Well, never mind. We don't have a lot in there, but uh, there was a few comments about this. And if I pull the comments uh, or my notes up again. So one way we could improve this situation here is by, uh, if we could only grab 
Uh, here we go. If we would build a warehouse that is slightly closer to the distribution post. So we've done that over here. And that comment was by Bikini Bro. Another one came from Byron. And he suggested that instead of um, transporting cooked potatoes, grilled potatoes, sorry, we should transport the raw potatoes instead. Because one potato, yeah, so because one potato, when it's grilled, turns into four. So it actually makes more sense to take, uh, for example, if a beaver can carry 10 potatoes over. If we take the raw potatoes, bring it over, grill it over here, that's going to turn into 40. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, one beaver could take kind of bring 40 over. Whereas if we wanted to bring a 40 uh, grilled potatoes that means you know four beavers will have to go across so that would be much more efficient the only thing we have to figure out here is well where are we going to place those grills and i think i'll probably do it off camera i'll uh, put them down somewhere i just don't want to disrupt the uh, harmony in here too much right now because yeah i have not spent a lot of time uh, looking around what we what we really need to do but anyways that is a great suggestion very very helpful so we'll definitely implement that one as well moving on what else do we have um right king suggested that um well bringing water is is quite difficult to to our new newly built district here with our latest massive project so what he said was hey if you're gonna if you've got so much water around here why don't you just bring a couple of extra beavers put down the water pumps and uh, skip this transporting process altogether and that is i have no idea why i didn't think about this myself but that's an amazing suggestion as well so that's something we are gonna do do um first i think if we can figure out how we want to do it yeah okay so we'll, we'll get to it in a, in a second in the in the meanwhile this project as i have mentioned before it is quite painful so i'm gonna do a little bit of prep work here to make this a little bit more uh, smooth and less painful i suppose and uh, then we'll jump into time lapses because i love time lapses you love time lapses so why don't we have a have a couple right so this is how we're gonna end the episode well don't worry it's not gonna end just yet but for the rest of the episode it is just gonna be time lapses running up all the way till the end and we'll see how much we can we can complete of this yeah i think that's uh pretty much it that i want to mention before we we get into the time lapse other than that as we as we discussed before as well uh i'm very open to suggestions what should we do with fault tales if anything at all i mean we are almost well, pretty much at the end, I just want to get this complete in here and, and let's have a look. Let me just pause it so it's a bit more smooth. Uh, it's nice and green around here. We've got some forest. Well, look at that. These have just grown very nicely in there. Not as green as we perhaps wanted to, but once this project is done, we're going to have rivers flowing through these areas as well. And we, well, still got to figure out what to do over here. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a painful, painful one. Uh, but yeah looking forward to your thoughts ideas comments so if you have some great ones and would like the series to keep going then let me know and we'll uh, we'll work on this together